him. I have to see the board and tell you what I have learned from that training. So okay. the first one was on NCA. Um, and uh, we have done a lot of work on NCF, I think we all have done. So National Party Kulam Framework, uh, it is a guiding document that outlines the goals, principles <coughs> and objectives to transform the education system. Uh, whatever I have heard from there only, uh, I love it. And that's it, it provides a roadmap for curriculum development because uh, we are teachers and we are making the curriculum to, help, to uh, help the education system. So that's why we have to remember all the things. And uh, not only that, quietly teaching me methodologies are also needed and assessment practices. And it aims to promote holistic development by emphasizing not only academic knowledge, but also 21st century skills, values, and overall growth and development of students. And it also emphasizes inclusivity and equity in schools, uh, considering the gender issues and uh, all other things, class issues, ensuring that the quality education is accessible to all learners, catering to their diverse needs. That's it then, uh, it recognizes the importance of professional development and aims to help teachers to facilitate the development of critical thinking and problem solving skills in students. And uh, we are doing it for the future of them, so that's it. They have told that we are preparing it for the future of students because they are the future of a country, future of our globe, the earth. Overall, NCF serves as a comprehensive framework to guide education policies, curriculum design, and teaching practices, creating an effective and relevant education system. After that, we will have all the things regarding NCF. Suppose, uh, it will be two points, the two points of NCF. That is curriculum, the first one, it is the entity of the organization, and next one is curriculum framework that guides the development of the curriculum. And NCF AC, it is also uh, designed, it aims to achieve the actual change in uh, the practices of a school. The principles of NCF school education actually, it, is, uh, it has a guide, specific, pragmatic consideration and learning standard. These, uh, all the criteria should be there. And uh, the overall frame of NCF. It has a vision, vision of society, vision of purpose of education, aims of school education, knowledge, capacities, values and disposition of it and uh, there are school culture is also included in this process of education. After that, we have learning standards. So, it has the four points. Like curricular aims, what, what is the aim of it? Then we have to uh, fix the goals, then the competencies that we need or that we want, and then the learning <coughs> outcomes must be there. And the school stages, there are, uh, we know it 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, this is the child development. Then we have to think about their uh, physical cognition, language, socio emotional, and moral development and the development of concepts in curricular areas and requirement of capacities and the implications of it. And I know that it is very much boring because uh, the terms are known to all of us and I'm just reading it so it makes you bored but still I cannot do it anything else. Uh, then I have just heard the things and delivering it to you. That's it. Because all are known to us. We are teachers and we are doing the work the same work for the years, for a lot of years for some. So the terms are known to us. Uh, foundational stage, illustrations of pedagogical practices or sensorial activities. We know the foundational stage, it needs the sensorial activities most. And uh, the second is nature of knowledge, which is verifiable by evidence. Then the school culture, it, it is very important. We have to think about values, norms and beliefs which form the school culture. And then behavior, relationships and practices in which this culture is manifested and experience, it is also very um, much important thing for us because we are dealing with the things 
which are going on nowadays uh, in between the students, in between the school campus. So that's why we have to create an atmosphere or the school culture should be like that so that we can be uh, proud of our school and proud of the atmosphere we are creating. We have to make the ambience like that so that we can develop the moral values of the students. And that is the only way to create a proper nation, to create humanity in the art. Now we are going for a school culture, master the following characteristics, that is lifelong learning, the main thing, a nurturing environment, academic support, and a positive relationship. That, that's what we are lacking now. There is no positivity in the relationship in between the student and teachers. We feel that uh, there is no respect in their heart for us. Then uh, traditions we have to follow. We have a uh, very enriched tradition. So we have to maintain that and it should be there in between the students, in between the children of future generations. The last one is effectively engage student and staff. That, that, that's what needed for that one, uh, positive relationship. Oh, that's it for the first one. I did it on, online. So it was very pathetic for me to <laughs> have all the information, but still I have tried to gather all the information that, that I have to do. That is the first one. This is not the last one. I have one more. Okay, uh, it was on learning outcomes and pedagogies and uh, 